YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today, we got the bikes already loaded up this morning, heading out to area for the Can-Am. So we'll get there, we'll get the bikes unloaded, and we'll go wait in a super long line to get all signed up because I'm sure it's packed right now. All right, we're all fueled up, ready to go. We got a solid, solid breakfast here of hash browns. We got some donuts, cinnamon buns. We're ready to go. Oh, we're rolling up here. I'm surprised the line isn't all the way on the road. Ryan told me this morning it was way backed up, so must have missed it all, luckily. We'll roll in, there's literally like nobody in line. It worked out perfect. All right, we just got to the track and went out for first practice, got unloaded, ready to go. It was pretty sloppy out there, first go. Second practice should be prime. So uh, we'll get out there, we'll get the GoPro hooked up. We're just messing around on the quad track over here, trying to judge if we can clear that table over there. We're jumping this one, which is about a little bit shorter, but Ryan's landing like down here. We're trying to size it up, so he might go for it. <laughs> I think we could do it. We got it. This thing's so much fun. It's like, like I said, it's really, it's so smooth. Even lugging it in third, like there's no bog the whole time. It's so nice. So not interesting with the stock pipe right now. Just the the lead up going around the whole edge. So slow. <laughs> well, see how this goes. Are you out of the way? Whoa, that's almost. Big bikes. We'll definitely get the pit bike race in a little bit here. Get the first, this is the first ride, first race on this thing. I haven't ridden it at all besides today. I just put the uh, the Mika bars on here too. I swapped it out. They're super wide. I got to cut them down. Um, somehow I got the stock grip off the stock bars. But uh, yeah, they're just feels off because it doesn't have a clutch here. So it seems so much wider on this side than this side. But with the bars on, it's way better than it was stock for somebody that's tall like me. <laughs> Not with my throttle hand. One thing I did have to do is rear out the throttle cable and put it on the outside until I get um, longer cables. But um, I just taped them up so, because sometimes when it's turned all the way to the left, it gets a little tight and it pulls the throttle a tad. Not too much. But it works for right now for today. Yeah, we'll go sign up. the brake huh yeah that's cool though i'm gonna just push it back it's stuck in it. yeah. oh yeah i see there you go. push so it got... back push it back there we go there. yeah keep all that down well first practice out crashed the beast already got a little scrape on the fender 
little broken up off the track at the end and uh, hit a boulder pretty big and oh, laid it over. Right. So now it's fully broken in. Fully broken in now. <laughs> what do you go? It happens. It happens. I hit this double and then I jumped off the track because I thought it were done and right into a large boulder. Yeah. What are you gonna do? So. I was trying to load the quad. He almost fell off the ramps and slammed it into the truck. We gotta make sure we get this. <laughs> that wasn't as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. Jeez, please. <laughs> Little foot out. <laughs> bad for hopping out there late, <laughs> not even getting out there. <laughs> I told you I'd hop on. Uh oh. next morning here um, I didn't actually unload the bikes from last night got home late didn't feel like doing it just parked in the garage we got three bikes deep in here and got the gate closed so now we know we could do that it was really tight fit so I had to take Ryan's bike home get him unloaded wash him up 
and uh, we'll wrap this video up. Honestly, could probably fit one more 110 in here too. Uh oh. Well, that's no good. There it is. Just had to push on it a little bit. All right, I got all the bikes cleaned up. Ryan's kind of cleaned up, his is beat. But something I want to touch base on, I know in the video revealing the 110, buying the 110, Justin was supposed to race the 110 and I was supposed to race my KLX, which the wheels didn't get done in time, they didn't get laced up in time, therefore I raced that. The main reason I didn't get raced is we went on a ride, I'm um, like two hours away a couple days ago. Justin and I and a few other people, and Justin ended up actually crashing his motorcycle. A guy riding behind him, it was four of us in a group. Somebody in front of me, me, Justin, and then another person behind him. The guy in front of me veered off right, I veered off right, and then I guess the kid behind Justin didn't see him turning, and he slammed right into the side of Justin, and they both slid at like 50 miles an hour. Both of them were okay, but the bikes were obviously both pretty twisted up. Um, if I have some pictures or find some pictures, I'll post them up right here. Maybe some video I might have taken. But yeah, overall, not a good situation. Um, luckily, they were both okay. Going down at 40, 50 miles an hour on pavement, definitely really scary. And uh, Justin's waiting for the insurance company to come next week to give the quote, I guess. I'm not sure how it works to go mark everything down on what the bike needs to see if it's totaled or if he'll just get money to fix the bike. Um, it's kind of like a 50-50 shot if it's total or not. But I'll keep you guys updated on that. Definitely a bummer day overall. But um, luckily, like I said, they didn't get hurt and uh, it could have been worse. They both obviously got some good road rash, but other than that, luckily they were both wearing leather, and for the most part they were covered. Um, I think Justin's like vest flared up and he got some stuff on his back and his elbow, which weren't covered. But overall, like I said, it could have been way worse. A car could have been coming head on and could have ran them over. They could have slid off and hit something. Like, luckily they slid down the road and nothing else major happened. But um, yeah, like I said, overall, not the most ideal day and situation, but unfortunately it happens. Get these things put away in the garage and we'll clean everything up. But with that, I'm gonna cap this video off. If you guys wanna see more videos like this one, make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you wanna see what's going down before the videos come out, you can follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan. And with that, I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video.